how are you? Matt Blutzer, EMC. Matt, nice to meet you. I'm Corey. Nice to meet you, Corey. Grab a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, I'm really glad uh, Jane was able to set this meeting up between us. Yeah, how's Jenny doing? I haven't talked to her in a while. Jenny's doing great, actually. I just got back skiing with her. Uh, we were up in Vermont for the weekend. Had a great weekend up there. Oh, that's awesome. I'll have to give her a shout. It's been too long. Yeah, she said that, actually. She said uh, it's been a while and she'd yeah. love to catch up with you again. Good. I'll give her a shout this week. I'm glad to know she's doing well, though. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. So, Matt Bletzer, EMC. I was just uh, wanted to, I know you're a busy person. Uh, Jenny told me that. I yeah. uh, wanted to make sure we still have 10 minutes. Yeah, I wish I could give more time than that, but it, looks, it is a little crazy around here, so I only have 10 minutes. Though. I understand that, no problem. Everybody's busy around yeah. this time. I just want to uh, give you my business card as okay, well. Great, thank you. Um, so, do you know uh, much about EMC? Um, yeah, actually, I, I'm you know vaguely familiar. I was actually, I'll be honest, I was a little surprised when Ginny set up this meeting. I, you know, I know EMC is working with some of the larger companies, you know, Fortune 500, things like that. I didn't really know you guys worked a whole lot with the smaller. But the smaller businesses, though, I was a little surprised by that. So, um, yeah, yeah absolutely. Familiar, but. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, we all, obviously we do work with some of the biggest uh, Fortune 500 companies in the world. But my division is actually uh, special specializes in small to mid range companies, such as yourself. Okay. Uh, being frank and credit, I know you guys are uh, kind of small, but you are expanding, right? We are. Yeah, we're going uh, actually opening a branch in Hoppington. We're pretty excited about it. Great, great. Yeah. Not too far from our offices, uh, right down the road. Yeah, I heard that. Perfect. Might have to switch over to uh, you guys. You know, <laughs> down the road, pretty yeah, easy. convenience, right? I know, Absolutely. I know. So I uh, just want to set a little agenda for the meeting today. First of all, I just want to ask uh, about, you know, Frank and Credit, how you guys are doing uh, some of your data stuff. Sure. Then uh, maybe, you know, get into some of the EMC stuff, uh, let you know some of the products that we have. Okay. And maybe uh, if we could see a fit. Yeah. How does that sound to you? Yeah, sounds good. All right, great. Um, do you mind if I take notes today? Not at all. All right, perfect. Just want to uh, start off by saying, you know, uh, you guys talk about expanding. How's everything going uh, expansion-wise? Um, it's a little it's a little overwhelming, to be honest with you. We're trying to create a roadmap right now about how we're going to best manage both branches efficiently with, you know, fairly limited staff. So don't really know what that roadmap's going to look like. Uh, struggling with it a little bit. So that's really my biggest concern right now is, is again, how we're going to manage, the, manage efficiently both branches. Yes, of so, course. Yeah. So that's taking up a bunch of time, is it not? Sure is. Yeah, I mean, I'm here nights, weekends, you know, missing kids' soccer games. It's just a little crazy right now. It can't be good on the family, can it? No, no. Not I at all. hate to see that. You know, yeah. you obviously want your weekends. And now, sure are do. your employees feeling the same way? Yeah, um, the two the two guys I work with are yeah. I mean, there's three of us uh, in IT. We're all systems admins, kind of jacks of all trade, and they're feeling the same the same pinch I am. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So you know, if you guys were to maybe have more time uh, towards that IT, how would that affect you? Um, it would be nice. You know, it would absolutely be nice. But I don't know what that's going to look like. I'm actually hoping to get a couple more people on, on staff this year. I'm hoping that's going to help solve our problem. Oh but, really? Yeah, I don't know if it'll get approved or not, but that's what I'm pushing for. Of course, of yeah. course. You know, uh, you're talking about getting approved. It's all, all has to do with costs, right? Right, absolutely. Yeah. So how about uh, how's your cost structure now in terms of uh, IT? Um, I mean, I don't really deal with costs all that much. I'll be honest with you. That's really my boss, Alex. I'm more the lower end guy, so I don't really get involved in the numbers too often. I mean, I know it's important, right? I know we have to be cost effective, but I don't know what they look like. Of course, of course. So you said Alex is your boss. Um, yep. Do you, uh, do you think he should be sitting in on this meeting? him uh, or? Um, him he's not available service? today. I think he wanted me to just kind of sit down with you guys and see what you had to offer and, and things like that. I mean, we will have to engage him at some point. Though. Okay, moving yeah, forward. Definitely. Okay, great. Yeah, so uh, we're talking about time and then costs. So you, I know you guys have been uh, able to cut costs all over the place. So, you know, if you guys were able to cut costs in your IT, would that benefit you guys in any way? I'm sure Alex would be happy. Yep. Yep. Of course, make, sure. making the boss happy is always yeah, a good so thing. Yeah, it's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. All right, great. So um, we talked about time. How about, uh, how is your, what are you guys actually using as your current system? Direct attached storage. Direct yes. Attached storage. Yeah. So you guys are expanding. Uh, when you expand, you get more data. How do you mm -hmm. deal with that? Yep, we add more DAS. We add more DAS. How does that? Uh, how does that work for you guys? How does that work? Um, it kind of is what it is. I mean, I'm comfortable with it. We've been using DAS for you know as long as I've been here and, and beyond that. And it's just something my staff and I are pretty comfortable with. So, you know, we're a little we're a little leery on changing, to be honest with you. Okay, I understand. Yep. I understand. Everybody uh, doesn't really like change at first. Yeah, so. definitely. Absolutely, I understand. Um, how about data loss? Have you guys seen any data loss or crashes in your system? Um, well, certainly, yeah, things have failed, right? I mean, that happens with any technology, so that's part of what keeps me here, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it be, a, you know, something crashes at 2 a.m., I have to be here to fix it, or on the weekend, or whatever it may be. 
Uh, it hasn't led to anything major as far as data loss, so we've been able to, to get things back up and running pretty quickly. Uh, again, it takes a lot of hours to do so, but we've been lucky in that in that aspect. Yeah, so what, if you guys were to see that data loss, you know, uh, well, how would that affect? Um, it could be bad. Yeah, I mean, it, it could certainly be detrimental to the business, which is never a good thing. Yeah, of course, losing yep. that brand image and stuff. Right, absolutely. Great, yeah. So. Uh, let me just clear up. So you're saying, you know, I, I know you're missing a lot of time on the weekends with your family. Time's a big issue. You're working all the time, Definitely. all the time. And then uh, you've had some data failure. You had some problems uh, with the system. Is there any other issues uh, with your current system that I might be missing? Not really, no. That's pretty much it. All right, great. Well, I'd uh, like to tell you a little bit about EMC now. Okay. Uh, here at EMC, we're actually the world leader in uh, data storage and information technology uh, solutions. Mm -hmm. So we have a few different systems. But one of the systems that uh, mainly would work for you guys, I think, is the uh, VNXE system. Okay. It is actually a single unit storage system. So there's one unit, but then it's also backed up to a cloud space. Okay. Are you familiar with Apple products? Apple, yeah, of course. Yeah, so they have the cloud, you know, you save everything sure. out of the cloud, you lose your phone, get it right back. Yeah, sure. Basically the same system, you know, if you have all your data, like okay. you said, you're expanding into Hopkinton. You don't need to bring additional servers over to that. You don't need to duplicate data to put them over to that. You actually have it all in the cloud. It's all avail available to you 24-7. Okay, I, so it sounds a little complex. The cloud kind of scares me a little bit. So you know, I, I don't really have time to learn a whole new technology. I don't, you know what I mean? That's a, a little leery on that. Okay, so you're saying, yeah, obviously time and training wise, you're saying yeah. you might have an issue? Yeah, it just sounds a little complex. You know, beyond my comfort zone potentially. Okay, yeah, we well, uh, we actually have a really good system, really good training program. It's a 12-step program through Microsoft that actually takes you through the whole program. So it's actually very easy to learn and very easy to grasp. And once you get it, maybe an hour later, you, you'll be cruising through the system. Okay. There's also buttons on each button. It'll actually tell you when you scroll over it. It'll tell you what functions you can do from that. Okay. So it makes it very easy. And then also, I can we can bring in our training program, with our tech guys and our trainers, and actually train your employees on the system, and they'll be up and running in no time. Okay. Does that clear up uh, some of the complexity issues? I mean, yeah, potentially. I mean, I'll be honest. I'm not a decision maker, right? I can't tell you whether or not we're going to buy this thing. That would really be up to Alex and the owners of the of the credit union. So uh, you have to talk to him. Yeah, of course. You know, I'd love to sit down with Alex. Uh, maybe we could get another meeting going for uh, sometime next week. Maybe bring some of the finance guys, the tech guys in, and uh, bring some of your superiors in, get you moving on the product. Sure. I mean, yeah, I'm, I can probably carve out time. You have to give Alex a call and see if he's free. All right. Why don't I, uh, I'll set up a time. How about, does Wednesday at 3 work for you? Um, it works for me. Yeah, sure. I, I can make it work. Okay, so I'll put that down as a, as a date and time. And then uh, if it doesn't work, we have to change it. So be it. But okay. I'd love to meet down uh, Wednesday at 3. Okay, sounds good. All right, great. Hey, thank you. It's great nice meeting, meeting you. you today. Thank you.